Welcome back. Well, in the Lamongan district in East Java, the Indonesian Ministry of Agriculture continued to develop the sorghum grain harvest to substitute wheat, which is heavily imported by Indonesia and is now high in prices. Indonesians are dependent on wheat imports, and with rising prices for the commodity in the Sidorejo village in Lamongan, East Java, the sorghum grain has been planted as a substitute for wheat. Efforts to plant sorghum grain are being carried out in the Sidorejo village by the Indonesian Minister of Agriculture, Sharol Yasin Limpo, and the Lamongan regent, Yuronor Effendi. So residents are able to manufacture sorghum grain and to process foods, such as snacks and noodles. The sorghum grain is native to Indonesia and farmers say that the care and harvest are simple. The sorghum plant requires little water and fertilizer, and the seeds themselves can be used as raw materials for noodles, while the stems can be processed into sugar and the leaves for animal feed. On the sorghum, saya itu saya bikin olahan ada mie kering, ada mie instan goreng sorghum, ada sus goreng sorghum, ada kecap sorghum, ada aren cinang sorghum, ada sorghum kribo, ada renginang, ada ciki sorghum, ada roti tawar sorghum. The Indonesian Minister of Agriculture, Sharol Yasin Limpo, is encouraging the development of sorghum grain plantations and hopes that the plantations will expand from the current 200 hectares. Komoditas pertanian utama di Indonesia yang sekian puluh tahun kita sudah lupakan. Kita terlalu banyak makan gandum sebenarnya dan gandum itu tentu saja dari importasi yang sudah sekarang ini cukup besar. Kita berharap sorghum ini sebagai uh, tanaman uh, asli Indonesia, di mana dia tidak butuhkan air yang banyak, pemupukannya hampir 50 persen dibandingkan pemupukan komoditi lain, uh, bibitnya juga mudah kita kembangkan, dan tentu saja selain buahnya, uh, batangnya bisa untuk gula, Daunnya bisa untuk makanan ternak. Nah itu. Kalau begitu kenapa kita lupakan? With the development of sorghum plants in Indonesia, locals will have a substitute to replace wheat and will be able to ensure price stability and contribute to a more self-sufficient agricultural industry in the country.